Jia says, I'm scared of pain of death. Is there any special deed that can eradicate this pain while dying? I've heard people who are pious that they do not feel the pain of death. Is this true? First of all, this is inevitable. Life is a test, and your final test is on your dying bed. Do mu'min, do believers suffer before they die? The answer is yes. Can you explain and elaborate? Because we heard that the soul of a believer, when it departs his body, it is like a drop that is falling from a, a, a water container or a water bag so smoothly and softly that you don't even feel it. So how can we reconcile? There's no contradiction. Before the soul exits the body, this is an area or a period of time where it is a chance for a believer to erase a lot of his sins. Abdullah bin Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, visited the Prophet ﷺ when he was sick. So he put his hand on the Prophet's chest and it was boiling. He was hot with fever. So Abdullah bin Mas'ud voiced his concern and he said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, when we talk among each other, we say that you get sick twice as much as we do. The Prophet said, yes. The most severely tested people at the side of Allah are the Prophets. And then the righteous and then those who are below them and those who are below them. A believer is tested, the Prophet says, according to his level and strength of Iman, of belief. So if he has strong belief, Allah would increase the calamities and testing upon him. And if his Iman and belief is weak, Allah Azza wa Jal would reduce the amount of testing and calamities. Mother Aisha witnessed the pain and agony that the Prophet ﷺ underwent on his dying bed. He used to suffer a lot from it. And he had a cup of water next to him. And he used to insert his hand in it and then wipe his face and says, La ilaha illallah, inna lil mawti sakarat. That death has its moments, has its uh, um, pains, that come on and off. And then when he passed away, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he died, Mother Aisha said, after what I had seen from the Prophet Wasallam, I would never ever hate such hardship when dying to any of my loved ones. Because if the Prophet Wasallam, who is the best of all humans, if not, the best of all Allah's creations, suffered this much, this means that it is something good and we would not at all uh, um, object to it coming to any of our loved ones. So in order to reconcile, this suffering is before the departure of the soul. As for the departure of the soul of the believer, it goes smooth and easy without any problem. Walillahi alhamdu wal fadlu. Walminna. Eyes for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for taqwa, bewaring of Allah. And tha is for thawab, a reward.